we just had a torrential downpour. As you can see water coming up underneath the trailer. I'll tell you what, for a little crappy, just a ditch, just to kind of see what's going on, this sucker is moving a whole lot of water. So tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and change this up a little bit because it's working so good. As you can see, I got a lot more water that coming off over here. I'm gonna take this little test ditch. Well, I'm just gonna start calling it the official ditch. Come straight over here and bring it into the, uh, the main ditch right here. You see, you can tell there's not a lot of water coming down this. But if you just walk across the street, That's a lot of water. So, I think that's a game plan. You can kind of see all the water kind of puddling on this side here. Yeah, that's a lot of water. So I'm definitely bringing that straight across to get this other corner of the yard drained. We're supposed to have another four inches of rain in the next couple days. That's just, just insane. Yeah, so all that water's running right down here. Going right straight that way. It looks like the little friends have shown up again. There's a little doe. No, it's a little buck. I wonder if they'll let me get out on the deck without getting crazy. Yeah, that's a little buck. Yep, little baby buck. He's close too. Normally they don't get that close. And there's another one over there. I don't know what he is or she is. Probably a little doe. No, it's a little buck too. That's a little four pointer. One, two, three, four. Yep. That's the first I've seen some little bucks around here. See the dirs, huh? You see the little dirs? What's this? That is drywall. <laughs> Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Now I'm finally getting around to putting up some drywall. I'm doing the tub enclosure first, and then I'm gonna start on this section right here behind the toilet. You can see here, I've got some odd two by fours kind of screwed into place. And what that is, is to give me a good screw in location for the drywall that I'm putting up. This back wall here, I couldn't, I didn't have anything for the drywall to rest against. So it gives me a kind of a, a backing plus a screw point instead of just it being a weak, weak section of the drywall. I had another one down here and another one down there on the bottom. I'll have to do the same for the top, but it's slowly coming along. It's just, I've been on the struggle bus last week, you know, the rain and some other things kind of just took the wind out of my sails. So I'm trying to push through and get after it. So I'd like to show you guys something about drywall real quick. Some of you all might not know about how you sit drywall. And some of y'all might not realize that there is a certain edge that you start with. Now, when you buy a sheet of drywall, this is, I call it green board because it's like a mold resistance for bathrooms. Now, when you lay drywall, you don't lay it up and down where you got the four foot section on the floor going up. That's not how you lay it. You lay it lengthwise like this. Now, one edge of your drywall has got a bevel to it right here so what you do is when you take one piece of drywall and you set it on the floor you want your you want your seam in the middle of the wall so 
here's part of a bevel. Now say this piece was going to go on top of it, this beveled edge would rest on top of this edge. And what that does is create a little ditch, a little valley. And that's where your drywall tape goes. Okay, you tape this seam and what that little divot does, it allows you to have your tape put down to where there's not a bump. And then it also gives you a little bit of room to throw your mud over the tape and to come and level it off and you've got a nice flat surface here a lot of people think a dry walled wall is perfectly flat and it's totally not the case a wall is it's got a curve to it but what they do is when they come and put their drywall mud down they mud it like instead of just mudding your tape line right here they bring the mud down here and then they it's kind of like doing body work what they do is they try to make that that seam where they join them together make it as wide and as unnoticeable as possible that way what you're trying to do is not have light reflect off of where the boards come together because that shadow is what shows you the bump in the wall so if you watch a professional drywaller they don't use hardly any mud and there's not well they use mud but let me rephrase that there's hardly any sanding done and that's one way you can tell a novice drywaller is if you've got 40 tons of drywall dust everywhere because they're doing way too much sanding if you do a, a wall right with drywall there's hardly any sanding that has to be done at all so and another thing is when you cut drywall a lot of people think you have to have a drywall saw and yeah, you can use a drywall saw, if I can find mine. This is mainly for like cutting holes, like poking it in the ceiling and cutting out a square for like a register in the ceiling or a, a light fixture. Uh, that all, you know, the ceiling already has drywall on it for, for cutting out stuff, okay? It's not for cutting sheets, although you can, but man, it doesn't make a lot of mess. Like, I'll give you a little example, which you might not be able to tell. And I might not be able to hold it with one hand. So, say, you know, I might not be able to do this with one hand. See all that? Just that one cut. Imagine if you had to take this cut four foot. You would have a beach down here of drywall dust. And one thing drywall dust is excellent at is ruining a vacuum cleaner or even a shop vac. If you don't have the right filter on it, drywall, drywall dust is horrible and it will go every place. Now what you do, if you need to cut a piece of drywall, all you need is something sharp, like a razor blade, okay? And you wanna say, if you like I needed a piece that was 54 inches long. So say this was 54 inches right here. I'd make another 54 inch mark here and one on the bottom and get my straight edge, okay? Get it straight and take a marker and draw a nice straight line and get a razor. Start at the bottom, you know, stick it in the drywall, do as you can. You don't have to go all the way through. You're just trying to cut this paper and then cut all the way up that paper. You might have to go up it two times, three times. And what you do is you get on the opposite side of the cut say you know I cut this side here so I, I bring the board out and I just take my knee and I just tap it and it snaps it don't take a whole lot to cut drywall at all and you make a nice clean edge without the mess like this is all the mess that I had so you, that's just my little tip and I learned that from trial and error doing my first bathroom in my other house I was cutting everything with the drywall saw or a circular saw and I was just making so much mess of the dust and then that's how you do it so I'm cutting this piece because I want it to go on the top of this other piece I want it to sit on top of this one now I'm pr I'll run a piece of drywall tape on this seam but since I'm just using this as an extra sound barrier for the bedroom for say if somebody's in a bedroom and somebody's in a shower, this right here will deaden a lot of the noise. So I'm not real worried about, you know, mudding this, but I am gonna screw it to the, you know, to the wall 
that's all that piece is and I'm cutting this piece out here for the back so there's a little update on what I got done I had to kindly call it quits early my friend Danny she stopped by and wanted to visit for a little while so that kind of curtailed any work but as you can see I'm starting to get the drywall up that'll make some of y'all happy <laughs> so a lot of y'all beating that drum get the bathroom done well you know I'm trying I'm one man oh shit I gotta fix that mess so anyway here's the back side so this room's starting to stay a lot cooler and like I said all this is this right here your drywall doesn't have to be perfect when it goes up the other sheet of drywall that goes this way will be covering this up and then it'll be drywall tape and mud yada yada like I said this right here is just for sound editing purposes this right here is the actual bathroom wall but like I said drywall doesn't have to be perfect at all so there you go so anyway I just want to show this to you guys and uh, wonder let's make sure there's not a kitty underneath here I stepped on her the other day on accident I was really kind of nervous of her but apparently she's okay because she likes to burrow in covers she's weird let's see if we can't find her where yet you get she's not in there she's hiding someplace she's probably in her little kitty box hey you get back there she is little kitty hideout so anyways i want to call it quits for the day I just don't have it in me to really get after it but a little progress each day it's better than none what are you doing you looking for the kitty cat i know you are because you're a butthole so here's my two chicken breasts i've been thawing out all day and i put some let me show you the seasonings that i used uh, I used the grill mates, the Montreal chicken, and then after that, I put some Italian dressing on top of them, and they've been sitting for a couple hours, you know, in the dressing, kind of keeping it moist, and I'm going to take the chicken and put it on the grill. So my little Master Forge grill that I've had ever since I started my YouTube channel, still kicking but it's getting a little long in the tooth and uh, so the gas thing down here for the propane is starting to rust out you can see my top piece here is rusted out I had to kind of improvise getting some rust in the bottom so after today I think I'm going to retire it as a propane grill and start using charcoal so it's been a good grill so now we're going to see in the coming weeks how it does as maybe a little smoker or we'll just see how it works out but I don't even know if I can get these replacement parts so I'm not even gonna worry about it I'll just turn it into a charcoal let's let this thing cook for a little while get hot get that great clean and bust out that chicken so everything smells good I'm trying to cook it slow but not too slow see still raw on the inside it's getting there it smells awesome though turn that fire down just a skosh looking good and that's all it is folks just some grilled chicken some cauliflower peas and i made some improvised garlic bread here so that's about it
There he is. Can't see him too good. There, you see his head move. Okay, here's the bathroom. I got some drywall finished on this main wall. I screwed up because I cut this top piece too short. I don't know what I was smoking. So I had to piece the end here and I'll have to go back and do some finagling when I go to do the, the drywall putty and stuff. So got this one finished. I got this little section here done. I'm just gonna wait to do this end and this end when I get new drywall. Uh, I've got some odd new pieces, but I'm just gonna wait because I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Lazy, it's Saturday. I'll do that when I get the drywall for this wall, which would be two more sheets. I might get three sheets just to be safe for odd and other stuff, you know, around. But I have to wait until I get my two inch pink rigid foam, and I'm gonna get a sheet of one inch thick rigid foam. That way I can fill this whole cavity with the equivalent of an R15. What I had in here before was an R13. Yeah, R13. So I'll make the bathroom wall a little bit better on the insulation. And then I have to wait until I can figure out how I'm gonna make an entry door for this right here because you know once everything's drywalled up and finished, I have to be able to have access back here. So, still trying to figure out what I need to do with that. And, you know, I still have to get drywall for the ceiling. So, let me recalculate. That's probably one, two. I'll get four sheets of drywall. That should, I think that should do me. If not, I'll just get more. So, that's it for this video, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded and chill out for a little while. So, I'll see y'all later.